Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 105. This map will cover strategies for a consortium on the map Oasis. So starting out, we are consortium. Our main goal is for us to push up the left side of our map. It's the most direct route, and we also get the greatest number of options to harass them. So we're gonna place a wireless repeater where I just pointed. It'll go through the walls to give you enough range to build a wireless repeater right there in the sand. Uh, this area here is where we're going to build our independent power. You wanna do that so that we were not dependent on having to carry power all the way from our base. So we're gonna put a power generator there, our forward spawn, turrets, supplies, and our armory. This will give us a little bit of a shortcut because we'll be able to spawn a little bit more directly into the action, pop off structures by walking through this doorway. You could also build supplies through the wall and turrets through the wall as well if you wanted to take that route. I personally don't like to really build a whole advance a lot of money in building turrets through the wall. I'd rather put a turret to defend this corner right here. This is a very tight choke point. It helps us out because we can kill off any structures, as you can see, within that area there. It'll help cut them off from getting primary. Once they are cut off from getting primary, they're going to want to come up this little area right here to try to, to try to snipe us. Uh, we want to put a wireless repeater maybe right there where I just pointed. Uh, another reason why they want to come up this area is see they can actually shoot everything here. We are ideally probably going to be building power on all the way on the very right side of the map next to that secondary. So we do want to reinforce this corner here as well. This also will give us a chance to try to cut them off from building up that area. We want to continue building up this left side, build some forward spawns, and another power generator in this area. So if they try to cut us off, we still have our, we still have independent power to all the structures here in this area. It'll take us right down the back door. Uh, we put a forward spawn right there, maybe some supplies, maybe put a turret in front of this doorway. We can walk straight through this hallway and we can start harassing them and get in their face right away. This will force them to start to spend more money defending their own base than building out and trying to take out our structures from afar. Build a wireless repeater right there. It should give you just enough range to get right through the other side of the wall. Just barely enough to build something right there. Uh, once you take over this this upper section, you could build you know forward spawns and a whole bunch of variety of turrets and things along that ledge and just pop them off from the second floor. Another thing to keep in mind is we should be able to build a wireless repeater right there. It should give us just enough range to start building turrets and things on this side. There's plenty of cover for us to uh, help prevent us from drowning in grenades. Build a forward spawn right here behind the walls. Some more supplies, wireless repeaters. We could build some more supplies right there and some turrets as well. It'll kind of help keep them at bay. Then we want to build out to this middle. We want to cut them off from getting primary completely. Put a turret right there. Maybe put a forward spawn right there. It'll allow our guys to take this middle way as well and try to come around that right side, just in case they're trying to build up out to the right to get to our base. We do want to build another power generator in this area. It's plenty of space to build two, maybe three, but we do eventually want to take over this roof. The roof is going to be our next weak point because they're going to try to come up the our right side of the map to take this roof and probably try to pop off a lot of our structures. So we want to build uh, preferably a forward spawn, maybe a turret and some supplies. It allows our exos to try to pop off a couple structures. They might build a power generator within sight, but the assembler is definitely within sight from this rooftop as well. We also want to give them a chance to basically box them in. Starting out, we are commander. And just as I said before, we're going to start building that wireless repeater and put it right up against the wall, preferably somewhere around the middle. It'll get, And then I researched uh, field tactics right away. And I don't build a generator right away. I wait because I want to build an independent power generator more towards the middle of the map. Because if we're having to carry power from our main base, uh, they could pop off any number of wireless repeaters and cut off our power. And this is a really big exposed area where I'm putting the wireless repeater right now. It's very difficult to defend that. So that's why I want to build the power generator a little bit further up. I went ahead and I did the power modulation. It gives us a little bit of a power boost, and then we can do the advanced radar structures a little bit later on. Now this is going to be our main area where we're going to build up. So as soon as I can, 
get a forward spawn right away. Now I want to put it a little bit behind around a corner. I don't want to put it directly in a doorway where they could maybe get some exos and shoot it down. Then build the power generator as I said. That will be a little bit exposed but that's about as far as the range will go and you need to build power right away. Then we'll build another wireless repeater to extend that power generator's power and put some supplies down because your men have to have it. Then we build our armory. Don't put it in front of that doorway. You don't want them to sieges to exo uh, or just exos to shoot it down. Plus an armory there will help our guys uh, refill on ammo. So we're extending the power again as I just mentioned again. Build another wireless repeater and then we use this turret to try to help reinforce that corner. It'll give our guys some cover fire as well. So that way they won't come around that corner and drown us in grenades. Then I do advanced kits right away. I want to try to do that as soon as possible so they can shoot any forward spawns they have. Then as I just pointed out earlier, we put that wireless repeater up there, continue building up the left. Put another forward spawn up on the top corner. This will help our guys spawn and harass their base if they want to, give them some supplies. They can't live without it. Then we extend the range. Now at one point they started getting very aggressive and they try to come into this corner and so they try to harass us using um, a flame turret. And you can see a little bit later on, I built that power generator, as I pointed out, and the other wireless repeater right up against the wall. So to our guys basically had a little bit of a struggle right here, but we, we pushed through it pretty successfully. Build a forest spawn there, and of course, some supplies. They can't live without it. You got to put one supply. You should put one box of supplies next to every forest spawn. And then I tried putting a turret in the doorway to try to help uh, defend them a little bit because they're getting shot pretty hard. Now, the enemy basically kept trying to force us to spend more money defending that area. So what I decided to do was to build some sonic turrets uh, right through the walls, and it cuts off everything pretty effectively. Once we uh, built a couple turrets, uh, it, basically, it pretty much just cut off all the power to their structures. I built that forward spawn behind that wall. Actually, it's not behind the wall. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, it looks like it is. I can't tell from here. And then we try to reinforce this front section. Now that we got this, this corner relatively under control, I want to go ahead and continue building out more towards the right of the map now because I don't want them to wise up and start trying to build up on the roof. So I continue to build out as you see here. Put a forward spawn next to that car as I specified earlier. And of course, always got to put supplies next to your forward spawns. Put the power generator, because we are going to be building quite a bit of turrets, or we might be doing that. Now, they already started that. Instead of taking the roof, they decided just to walk straight through the garage, and they started harassing us immediately. So, luckily, one of my teammates helped out. They were an engineer. They came by and started healing everything, and then I put a rocket turret to give us some temporary cover, so they'll want to be more motivated to go up through the roof. Notice I have that wireless repeater up in the very top right corner next to this power generator that I'm putting that'll give us plenty of range to go through the walls and I'll show you where I'm going to build that in just a sec. That one wireless repeater up on the top corner allows us to build a spawn here. I, normally I don't like to build a spawn there but my guys asked for it so I gave it to them. And then I put a turret up here on the roof to try to slow down anyone. As you can see that exos on the roof trying to take everything down from the top. I backed up the forward spawn with a supply box and as you can see the other exos the wireless repeaters allow you to put a box right under the glass it helps out our exos tremendously the glass is bulletproof they won't be able to damage our guys and then you just maybe need to put a, maybe a turret or two to try to help defend them because uh, if five or six guys go through there it's, it's a problem so as you can see here building right through the walls uh, can, kept putting up uh, wireless repeaters I was putting up a couple sonic turrets inside the main base. Uh, that's pretty much it. The game was practically over from there. We had boxed them in. They don't have any resources and we just kept pushing um, from the second floor. And from there all you gotta do is just you know maybe build a couple sonic turrets. Here I had a little, you know, little, little extra money to spend. As you can see the guys on the second floor have supplies. Uh, 
put an extra box of supplies down for everybody just in case anyway because there's a lot of guys there and that's it so that's my strategy for consortium for uh, for Oasis be aware of the right side of the map uh, if I was consortium I would come down the right side of the map to I'm sorry if I was Empire I would come down the right side of the map so just be aware of that make sure you have one of your scouts checking out the right side that they're not trying to rush to your base quickly well that's all uh, this video was quite short, but the strategy is pretty straightforward. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, leave your feedback, and thank you.